What's going on, y'all? Back with another one from Red Dawn Ready. Uh, just wanted to take a quick look here. Um, we've got the direct action dust bag. Um, just got this thing, and uh, I've been looking for something to wear um, when running and uh, with my chest rig. So I just wanted to do a quick review on it. I think it's pretty sweet. Um, it's a 20 liter bag. Let's see if I can get this a little better. It's a 20 liter pack, right? 20 liters. Um, they do make a little bit larger one that's 25 liters called the Dragon Egg. Uh, they also make, uh, I think a size above that. I forget what the name is of that one. Um, but after having this one, I do, you know, really want to pick up that Dragon Egg. Um, but this is the dust by direct action. Uh, so just to show you a couple things, there's a front pocket right here, which is nice. Laser, molly, webbing on the front. Obviously it's the M81 Woodland, which gotta love M81 Woodland. It's the camo for God. Um, has a nice front pouch that I've already kind of built up. Um, I got a tourniquet, chem lights, uh, a right in the rain, got uh, some, some charging cables that I would need to charge some of my things, a couple extra magazines in there. Um, let's see, I keep a little terry cloth to clean glass, um, I keep an extra one there as well, a little pill bottle with some medic medicine in it. Um, you know, obviously I'd have medical probably on whatever else I'm carrying as well, but this is all kind of, you know, some backup stuff. Um, some extra gauze, uh, just a little thermometer with a whistle and a little compass. Um, on the top here it has a spot for your maps, so it's got a plastic covering. I keep a map in there. Uh, I also keep a uh, pocket constitution, some lighters, water keys. Um, so that's the first main pack area. And then it has a larger area. I'm keeping uh, some paracord, pack of paracord. Um, some uh, face paint just in case pretty big stuff six color face paint um, I keep it stacked full of mags because this is like my assault pack that I'd be wearing uh, in case I need to run a chest rig so I also keep one of these the Arcturus Outdoor here. These are phenomenal. Um, it's basically a really thick blanket with the inside that has the thermal type coating like this. So you can stay warm or make shelter out of it. You can use it as a blanket. Um, these are awesome. I'd, I'd pick one of these up if, uh, or just about any application, they're just really great uh, for keeping warm or for building shelter. Um, I also keep another tarp, camo colored tarp. Um, and then behind that, I keep a stack of one. Two, three. Let's get the last one out. Four. So six extra mags in, in this pack. Um, it being an assault pack for me. Like I said, I want to keep extra mags in there. Um, it also has uh, behind 
my tarp, I can keep a hydration bladder. Um, it has a hole for a hydration bladder, so you could run it down, run it through the hole, run it on either side here, um, so you can have hydration the entire time. Uh, was something I was looking for. I have a small one. I wanted something that I could carry a bunch of stuff in, and uh, I still have hydration. Uh, Lastly, in this in the other pocket, so there's one more pocket, which is in the back here, in between. Fire starters, hand warmers, and moleskin. But as you never know, if you're ever running around, if you need some moleskin or somebody else might, and uh, might be able to help people keep going a little bit longer. Um, all in all, guys, I, I really like this pack. Uh, I probably keep an extra pistol in there as well, something small, because of the size of the pack. Uh, I tried fitting um, a Glock 45 in the front the zipper area, and I wasn't able to do that. I think I could show you. So, uh, you can get it in there. It just stuck like that. So I'm sure a Glock 19 would fit fine, um, but I've kind of just fallen in love with the 45 size grip. Um, I have bigger hands, so um, this grip fits for me, so maybe I have to get another lower or something. Um, but this, P365, show you guys, both of those are unloaded. Um, that fits just fine. A little bit tight with the 17 round way, but I think I get it to fit. Yep. Uh, so I could keep an extra pistol in there. Um, I could probably throw a couple extra mags somewhere around as well. Um, what else is nice is it has uh, water bottle holders on the side that stretch and you can cinch those down. Uh, it also has molly on there. On this side has the same thing. So another water bottle holder. I keep a Gerber milk tool that I've already placed on there. I think that's, that's a pretty good spot. I don't really like adding extra length. Um, one of the reasons why I went with this pack was uh, the size. So, it made it look even a little bigger, but all in all, it's, it's pretty small. Um, small, but has a good size to keep a carabiner up there. Um, I've been slipping this through. So that way, kind of keeps it up right there. Um, it does have paracord handle, which is like the best handle I've ever felt. It's just super sturdy. You can snatch it up real quick or carry it by the handle if you want. Um, so yeah, small little assault pack. Uh, so far that's what I got in there. If you guys have any other ideas of what, what should be kept in here, um, feel free to put that in the comments. Uh, yeah, just wanted to do a quick review on the direct action dust uh, tactical bag 20 liters uh, comes in tons of different colors tons of different camos um, it's a little bit on the pricey side but I bought in tons of cheap backpacks and I must say that they just don't hold their form uh, when you put stuff in them they droop and uh, so I was really looking for something I think this is 500 Cordura so it's kind of waterproof might need to spray it with some additional waterproofing uh, because I believe whatever they put on here does fade over time. Um, a nice little Velcro spot for putting some patches. Uh, other than that guys, just wanted to uh, do a quick review on the direct action dust bag. Um, perfect for everyday carrying. Uh, a salt pack to run so you can run with it. Don't want to get those too big. and. Uh, Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, check them out if you're looking for a new small pack or if you're looking for the larger ones, go check out the uh, Dragon Egg. Most of the reviews I've seen um, on these packs uh, are really old, older older reviews on this pack. So uh, I'm shocked that I haven't couldn't find more reviews on it. So thought that I would do one. Um, I really was considering the Dragon Egg, but it is like an additional 50 to $75. Um, overall, 
I love the M81 Woodland, and uh, it was really hard to find a dragon egg in that. They do have tons of other camos though. Um, I ordered it off Amazon, and maybe I'll save up next for a dragon egg for additional. Um, I do have a larger pack already, uh, so I thought maybe I'd get the smaller one because I would want to use it for an assault pack and um, this pretty much will do everything I needed to do. Uh, so far, it does appear to, uh, let me get that. It does appear to be the perfect little pack for, for what I need it for. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I've been on Amazon scrolling for an hour and a half to two hours before checking out packs and reading reviews and comparing things. I'm really happy I went with this one. Um, and if it's something that helps you guys, check it out. Red Dawn Ready, here with another review. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, just starting to get this channel rolling and really appreciate it if you could share the content out if someone's looking for a pack. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. Talk to you soon.